Do you notice how it's difficult to read a person's expression when they're wearing a mask? Are they smiling, angry, blah? While several companies are trying to fix that right now, they're making clear masks so we can see each other's face. Chris Hoffman tells us some of those masks are being made by a company in our backyard. Rose Morris with Abrams Nation has been making masks since early in the pandemic. Just happy to help. <laughs> Within the last few weeks, clients asked if her Hampton Township company could make ones with clear material around the mouth. Sometimes I just call them the see my smile mask. Many of the people Morris works with help people with special needs, including hearing impairments and others who couldn't recognize a trusted adult with a mask over their face. When you're not in that world, you don't realize what somebody else needs. But once your eyes are open to it, you realize there's a much larger community than what you think. She started making these new masks and shipping them to anyone who needs them. Abrams Nation can pump out hundreds a day and they have shipped out thousands already. She had to bring on more staff to complete orders for masks and the other products the company sells. We went from having three people or four people sewing to now uh, seven, eight, nine. So it's, it's, been, it's been crazy. So with this vinyl material over your mouth, there is the potential it could fog up. Well, here's a simple hack for that. Just take some simple soap, put a little dab of it on the vinyl there, rub it in, and then once you wipe it off with a paper towel, as simple as that, you can put it right over your mouth and it will not fog at all. So far, Morris has received positive feedback from clients. She's working with school districts to get these in the hands of teachers and other staff. To be able to come here and know that we're making a difference, it, it really, it does something for you inside. It, it feels good. The masks are available online. We will have a link on our website and app. In Hampton Township, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.